Now, I'm going to take you guys down a little rabbit hole I've been exploring here. Now, if you're like me and you're a goddamn man, balls the size of Canada, soldier boy shit, shit don't affect you, you a real man, you ain't as scared boy. Well, I have something for you guys, look. Apparently people have these things called phobias, I mean, no idea what a phobia is. Real men aren't scared of shit, boy. But I was, uh, I was doing a bit of research, a little bit of information was, uh, handed to me. Apparently people are scared. <laughs> People are scared. There's loads of different phobias. Social, anxiety, whatever. Sometimes you don't like speaking to people, bro. Don't mean it's a phobia. Agoraphobia. Agoraphobia is where you, you find it in places where it's hard to escape. I mean, why, what, what? Hard to escape like a plane? That's one I fucking can't stand. Spiders. How? If fair enough, if you're in Australia and there's a big bloody poisonous thing stuck on your leg, you would be a little bit scared. But it's when I, I've seen people, you know, it's in the top corner and they lose their marbles. They start throwing things. They start running around. They're like, oh my God, please get rid of it, please get rid of it and it's the size no bigger than your nail i don't understand it there's a someone some people have a fear of having a bath getting in a bath fear of darkness fair enough the dark isn't the nicest place to be sometimes fear of heights that's that's quite common fear of flying i mean do people enjoy flying all i'll say is if humans were meant to fly we'd have wings you know i'm sure there is people who enjoy flying fear of pain fear of riding in a car imagine me scared of riding in a car actually that would be horrible you can't change Change what you're scared of and I understand that but I think it's when people overreact you know to a tiny little spider it's like shut up just shut the fuck up Richard it's annoying you can react normally no one ever goes oh look a spider let's give it a kiss Anginof an ag anginophobia fear of angina or choking is that a real word fear of anger oh don't get angry with me please no fear of spiders fear of outer space I mean I think I probably would be scared of outer space if I was in outer space floating until death fear of failure god damn fear of gravity imagine being scared of one of the most important things that keeps us alive and you're like no nah, that shit terrifies me bro that shit scares the shit out of me fear of spending money eh this is what i am i'm a chromatophobia i hate spending money it scares me it keeps me up at night knowing what i'm gonna have to buy the next day i'm a chromatoba chromatophobia fear of colors a bit racist fear of time fear of clowns i mean clowns aren't really meant not being scared you know they're weird fear of dentists when i was younger didn't like the dentist Fear a cat. That's just fucking embarrassing. That's embarrassing. How can you be scared of a cat? Oh, here's another one. Erectophobia. That's me. Fear of knees. I'm not even going to try say that one. Fear of touch. I'm scared when people touch me. Fear of water. You know, people don't like swimming. Fair enough. Fear of the colour white. Again, racist. Not in my book. They're just being, they're just using that as an excuse. Fear of the colour black. Again, racist. Not in my book. I won't allow for it. It's just a front. They're just lying so they can get away with it. Fear of death. I mean, you know, who? no one's like, fucking hell, I can't wait to drop. Uh, it really excites me, the idea of dying. To be fair, fear of rain. It's quite funny when I was younger, I used to, th it used to rain quite a lot, I remember, for some reason. And I used to think we were going to flood and die. And then my dad told me, it's alright, we live on a hill. And I've never been scared since. Fear of flying, you know, normal. Fear of ferns. The fuck's a fern? It's like, in between two ferns. Fuck off. Just fuck off. How can you be scared of that? How can you be terrified of that? Fear of being stared at. Are they looking at me? What do they want? Fear of hair. Fear of hair. I repeat, somebody, multiple people probably, have a fear of hair. Fear of needles and injection. See, that's, like, you know, you can understand that's disgusting, really, isn't it? When people start injecting you. Crack isn't for everyone. Fear of beautiful women. Fucking hell. I might say that's one of my fears. Germs. Germophobe. You know, fair enough if you don't like germs, but I think being scared of them. Something you can't see. <laughs> Again, xenophobia. Fear of strangers or foreigners. It's just racist. Fear, ah, here we go. My dog would uh, seem to have zoogophobia. Can you believe it? There's people who are scared of vacuum cleaners. So you look, this is what it can do to people. Chest tightness, pain, hot flashes, choking sensation. Jesus. Confusion, difficulty breathing, dry mouth, nausea. Oh yeah, look, the causes of phobias. So you can, it can be genetic or traumatic experiences. So let, let, let's just go back to the ferns. Clearly when someone was younger, they, what, what was traumatic about a fern? Tell me, did someone fall onto one and didn't hurt themselves because it's not prickly in fact it looks quite comfy i would consider sleeping on it if i didn't have a home what, what what's traumatic about that i want to find this person and ask their mother what their fear is as well see if ferns are in her blood because if so or or the dad if their fear is that if i had a fear like that i'm not reproducing mate i'm not doing it i'm keeping it in the testes far away from any eggs that are lurking because my god you get medicated for it right what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a bloody giggle at some idiots who was scared of spiders.
Go ahead. Yo. <laughs> Look at the size of that thing. Look at the size. So what they're going to do, basically, is they're going to try and match people with their phobias. We, we're not here for that. We're here to have a laugh, though. Hi. Dude, just roared. Is, is one of your phobias uh, uh, dinosaurs, by any chance? Because uh, I'm a really good impersonator of a dinosaur. Actually, uh, it's kind of my hobby. She looked, she looked very uncomfortable then. Good, good observation, sir. Grossed out by the sound of cotton rubbing. See, I don't like that. You know that it makes you bloody like get goosebumps, like you strange your neck. It's disgusting. No one's. Is this even real? Oh! <laughs> How's it going? I think she gave it away. Don't you? I, w I wonder who it is. Been better. This is freaking you out. May I ask why? I don't know, if I touch it, like, my teeth hurt. Sidonglophobia. Fear of cotton. How embarrassing. Imagine having that phobia and then coming on a bloody YouTube video with 39 million views about it. He's scared too. That's good. <laughs> How about we just have her... <laughs> he's, he's, his bloody spidey sense is tingling. That was too quick. Why are you afraid of bunnies? I had an experience when I was seven years old and I was just petting it and it started to hum my arm. I don't like that. I don't like that. <laughs> Oh god. And uh, it started having sex on my arm and uh, I actually gave birth to a baby rabbit at the age of eight. It was fucking incredible, but uh, I was really traumatized. It didn't bite you or anything. No, but okay. wait, I would never let it get close enough to bite me. Oh my god. Good job. <coughs> What's she doing? <coughs> oh god, look at her. I don't know, mate. Fucking porridge. Everyone has to touch a ventilation system. <laughs> Shut your mouth! You're giving it away! What's up with spiders, man? Alright, so little 10 year old me trying to get some food in the back in the garden. A whole bunch of spiders fell on me. How many? Thousands of those. Thousands of Thousands these? Thousands of those fell on my body. How did you get them off? I passed out. <laughs> When you run in the spider See, okay, now I feel like a bit of a meanie bo beanie because I can kind of understand this now. If I was younger and a thousand spiders fell on me, I would fucking hate them too. Look, I think what we've learned today is we've actually developed, we've actually learned to be a bit more respectful, I think, which is, you know, what we're here for. We're here to learn every day, bro. It's every day, bro. Like, people are scared of that. Fair enough. We've learned that clearly this is a problem. Phobias. We need to start providing more medication. That's always the answer. Start drugging these fools up. I want them Elvis Presley styled off their head. Understood? They they must be off their doodles 24-7 in order to uh, get over this. This is the way. This is not okay. I do not want human beings suffering like this anymore. If you agree with me, like, comment, and maybe drop a subscription if you're feeling a bit leery. Goodbye. Goodbye.